The universe is a place full of mysteries and undiscovered things, which are not tangible for humans. All the more reason why scientists feel the urge to find out new things about the universe in order to get a little closer to solving its mystery. In the following video, we will show you five unknown secrets of space to which there is still no answer. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. Red Rectangular Nebula The Red Rectangular Nebula, named for its red color and unique rectangular shape, is a protoplanetary nebula in the constellation of Monoceros. The nebula, also known as HD 44179, was discovered in 1973 during a rocket flight as part of the AFCRL infrared sky survey called HiSTAR. The binary system at the center of the nebula was discovered by Robert Grant Aitken in 1915. The red rectangle was the first nebula around a developed star in which an equatorial disk in rotation could be well identified. The existence of such disks could only be proven for a few of these objects. For most of them, only one expansion is observed. However, the disk absorbs starlight and is practically invisible in the beautiful optical image which is mainly a relatively diffused outflow, most likely formed from material extracted from the denser disk. The pronounced rungs indicate several episodes of increased ejection velocity. The Hubble Space Telescope has discovered a wealth of new features in the red rectangle that cannot be seen by ground-based telescopes looking through the Earth's turbulent atmosphere. The origins of many of the features of this dying star, particularly its X-shaped image, remain hidden or even completely mysterious. The presence of a striking bipolar symmetry is common in protoplanetary and planetary nebulae. Theorists like Adam Frank have shown that an axial symmetry can occur as a result of shocks due to the interaction of different phases of the stellar winds, which is characteristic of late stellar evolution, but its origin is still being discussed. On the other hand, the X-like shape and low velocity of the outflowing gas in the red rectangle is peculiar, probably because its origin, in conjunction with a stable extended disk, is different from that of most protoplanetary nebulae. A strange hole in Mars Mars has fascinated people for a very long time. In 2011, a hole was discovered by chance in images of the Pavanus Muns volcano which were taken with the high-rise instrument on board the robot-based Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter that is currently orbiting Mars. Why there is a circular crater surrounding this hole remains a subject for speculation, as does the full extent of the cave below. Holes like this one are of particular interest because their inner caves are relatively well protected from the rough Martian surface, which makes them relatively good candidates for containment. These pits are therefore excellent targets for possible future spaceships, robots, and even human interplanetary researchers. A closer look revealed that it was a skylight, or in other words, an opening on the surface to a lava tube below. The spot is hollow, because lava flows can sometimes solidify at the surface while the lava continues flowing below. This allows the flowing lava to flow off, leaving caves in the lava tube. Over time, parts of the roof can collapse, creating the so-called roof window. The analysis of the skylight showed that the opening has a diameter of about 35 meters. The top of the collapsed pile of debris that can be seen through the opening is at a depth of about 28 meters. Proxima Centauri Proxima Centauri is a small, low-mass star located 4,244 light-years from the Sun in the southern constellation of Centaurus. This object was discovered by Robert Innes in 1915 and is the closest known star to the Sun. Proxima Centauri is a member of the Alpha Centauri system and raises many questions. Among them, is whether it is responsible for the fact the planetoid belt is anchored in the constellation photographed by images. 
this gas giant could be responsible for putting this belt in place. One problem, however, is that Proxima is currently undergoing intensive research as part of a program to hunt the planetary system called Red Dots, which monitors three nearby red dwarf stars, including Proxima. Studies from this collaboration have never revealed the signature of such a massive planet around the star. The question of another mysterious discovery must also be answered. About 30 AU, aka astronomical unit, away from Proxima, there is another cold material belt. This corresponds to the distance from Neptune, but because of the small size of Proxima, this material ring has no real equivalent in our solar system. The so-called Oort cloud of comets in the outermost regions of our solar system is too diffused, which means that there must be another ring of planetesimals out there. But this various information suggests that Proxima Centauri is not just a star with one or two solitary planets, but a strange and dynamic star with possibly many more planets and two or more debris belts from the early days of its star system. The work is not just about proving or disproving the existence of the gas giant or providing further evidence for the far-flung outer belt. Researchers must also work to find out if there are more planets that fill in the cracks of these new discoveries and to find out why such an old system, 5 billion years old, has a debris disk at all, as these are typically associated with much older dead stars or very new stars. Rocky Planet Scientists have not been researching exoplanets for very long, and astronomers are still working on the finer points. The newest class of planets is the so-called Mega-Earth. This class is based on the planet Kepler 10c, a rocky planet twice as wide as Earth and 17 times heavier. Thanks to the responsible researchers, we now know that there are a number of different types of planets in the universe. These are rocky planets, like the Earth, and gas giants, like Uranus and Saturn. It is assumed that these different types of planets were formed under different conditions. If the orbit of a planet is relatively short from its star, it is more likely that the planet is a hot planet. Planets above a certain mass become gas giants, while tiny planets tend to be barren and have no atmosphere. According to scientists, a planet as large as Kepler 10c should not be a rocky planet. Because in view of its huge mass and its spatial size, Kepler 10c has too great a density to be a gas giant. Astronomers believe that the planet is a large, dense, dry world of highly compressed rock and with only a small amount of water. Its size would overwhelm gravity. Not a place you really want to visit. The Impossible Planet Astronomers have discovered a gas giant about the size of Jupiter orbiting a red dwarf, which has half the mass and size of the Sun. For a long time, they thought something like this was impossible. This planet, called NGTS 1b, is the largest planet ever found compared to its star. This discovery is so shocking because it is a challenge to the current theories about planet formation. NGTS 1b was observed with the Wide Field Telescope Array of the Next Generation Transit Survey and is about 600 light years away from Earth. It is the so called Hot Jupiter, a gas giant similar in size to Jupiter but much closer to its central star which is why it is hotter and has a shorter orbital period. NGTS-1b has about 20% less mass than Jupiter. But current theories about planet formation negate the fact that planets of this size are located near such a small star, because planet formation usually takes place more slowly around small stars. Often, there is less material available, so the gas giant is a real mystery in this case. Since the unusually huge planet is paired with such a common star, this means that there may be more combinations like this one. As for the star itself, it is a red M-class dwarf. It is very small, about half the size of the radius and half the mass of the Sun. This means that it is still larger than the planet. The radius of Jupiter is about a tenth of the radius of the Sun, so the radius of NGTS-1b is between a fifth and a quarter of the radius of its host star. But red M-class dwarfs are also the most numerous stars in our galaxy. 
accounting for about 75% of all nearby stars. This is because they do not burn as hot as other stars and therefore do not consume their hydrogen as quickly, which makes them both long-lived and abundant. Dark stars, the Big Bang, antimatter, the universe is full of mysteries. And these mysteries presented are still unanswered, which illustrates how little man actually knows about space. Of course, technological progress plays an important role in the discovery of new phenomena. After all, the better the technology is developed, the sooner researchers are able to discover the unknown. But will mankind one day really succeed in unlocking the secret of the universe? What do you think? Do you think that the universe is a single secret that can one day be discovered by scientists? Or do you suppose that space is made up of infinite mysteries that are far too many to ever be discovered? Leave us your opinion as a comment.